Oh hey guys, this is Midwest Miniature Guy again. Um, this is the Necromancer. We've got him all primed. A couple of spots here that uh, got rubbed off, but the black that I'm going to be doing will be uh, just fine. Uh, we're going to cover that up. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. Just a couple of areas. But he's all primed up and ready to go. And again, with that extra stuff in there, we're going to go ahead and just use some regular black, get in there and uh, get it all uh, cleaned up. But I figured what I'd do here is I would start with the face. And since he is a necromancer, we're going to be using a little bit lighter uh, colored skin. Uh, like he's been in a crypt or something. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the rosy shadow, uh, the rosy highlight and rosy skin triad from Reaper Master Series here. Since there's not a lot of skin showing, pretty much just his face. A little dollop. And a little bit of water. Basically make the consistency of milk for your paint mix. Uh, I used just a brush full of water and one drop of paint. So here we go, we're going to do, this is just the base skin tone. It doesn't matter if the black is showing through right now, because we'll probably do a couple different, or do a couple of uh, layers of the skin tone. Look at his lip. I don't even worry about the eyes, I'm just kind of slapping paint right now to block stuff out. Like I said, you can still see the black underneath the paint right now. Don't worry about that. And what I like to do is I'll blow on it to dry it. Get a little bit more paint. Now we're really starting to see some good color. And again, I'm not too worried about uh, still being able to see black underneath. Because we'll be doing a couple different layers. So I'll let that dry for a little bit. And I'll go on to the Leprechaun on the Owl. And I'm going to be using a different skin tone on him. I'm actually going to use the the olive skin because he's been out in the sun. But I'll be doing a lot of different highlighting, shadowing, and stuff like that on him. Because we want to make him kind of cool looking. Again, this guy, three hours, about 20. <laughs> Getting just a little dot, a little dab. Get your paintbrush in there. Uh, people have asked what kind of uh, paintbrushes I use. Uh, I use, for bigger areas, the Citadel, large brushes. Uh, for detail work and for smaller areas, I use the Windsor Newton Series 7 brushes, which is what I'm using right now. So get in there, 
made this guy look really cool. A little bit more skin tone on this guy. Like I said, he's been out in the sun. And I just want to do a different skin tone rather than keep with the rosy shadow or a medium skin or a talarn flesh or something like that. Hope everybody can see that. I'm trying to keep it in the camera shot. So that's the quick little base coat of flesh on him. And now we can go back to our necromancer, because his skin should be good and dry now, as you can see. And now we'll really be able to get some good even skin tone on him now. Hopefully I'm not bumping the camera too much. Might be wondering why some of the hair is painted. Well, don't worry about that either. Uh, this is paint, we can go over it. And that's the nice thing about doing this. Uh, his hair is going to be um, a brownish gray or brown going gray probably along the temples there uh, is what I'm going to do the robes are going to be different shades of black uh, so like a charcoal uh, some gray highlights through there uh, and Ed has said that uh, anything that looks like metal uh, should actually be bone. And that's what he's going for. That's what his necromancers look like. So, probably this kind of little skull deal here. Uh, the buckles. His shoulder pads or shoulder pauldrons. Uh, this section here, probably. This buckle. Uh, the hilt of the knife. And maybe this section here. Just the border is going to be uh, bone. Uh, I think I might also do bone for the uh, the scroll deals too, uh, and also for this here. And I might do the uh, the braid section there, bone as well. So we've got a good good solid flesh tone going there. Uh, might add it in. Just a little bit there. Now what I would normally do uh, to start the shading process on on these guys is I would use a uh, uh, a flesh wash or mix up some uh, reddish paint uh, like a um, what am I trying to think of here scorched earth GW scorched earth along with the the shadow color but uh, I'm not going to do that with this guy. Again, he's a necromancer. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use some Asterman Blue. I'm 
shake it up here a little bit. And I'll use it right straight out of the pot. That skin's good and skin's good and dry. Got our Esterman blue. I'm gonna go right over the skin. Give it that kind of sickly look. All right, so that's that. I gotta let that dry now and not dump over my Asterman Blue. So that's the first section of blocking it out. I've got about uh, almost 12 minutes into this video here, and I know it takes forever to load these things up onto my computer and onto, the, onto YouTube. So I'm going to let that dry. We've got a good base coat on um, on his flesh tone. I'm going to make it just a little, another little bit there. that. Also what I'm going to do with the base, I'm going to build this up with more rocks and I'll have a bunch of foliage and static grass and all sorts of cool stuff coming up out of the base. Uh, I'm going to try and get some grass to stand probably about so high so it looks like he's, him and the owl are really down in there and he's just enjoying a nice little, nice little ride. Well, anyway, thanks for watching guys and uh, Next time, uh, we'll get a little bit more done. Bye.